I'm Kimberly. Welcome back to Cross Stitch University. In this video, I'm going to show you how to work with several colors and how to travel in your cross stitch. So let's get started. So now that we're moving into the inside of the pattern, we're going to be working with three different colors today, aqua, white, and gray. So I went ahead and threaded three different needles since your pack of needle comes with 25 and then any of my leftover floss I have over here. We're gonna start by doing the gray symbols. We're gonna do the three by threes. After that, we're gonna to move to a blue star. Since we're gonna start with the gray, I'm gonna pull the gray off of my design board. And since we're moving into the inside of the pattern, I'm going to use these cross stitch line keepers that were developed by It's So Emma. And we're going to kind of mark off what we're going to be stitching. So we're gonna stitch right here. And what I will do is I'm going to count down. One square, two squares, three, four, five, six squares down, one, two, three, four squares over. So I'm gonna go into my cross stitch. I'm gonna go six squares down, one, two, three, four, five, six, four squares over, one, two, three, four. And I'm gonna do one cross stitch just like we've been doing using the loop method on the back. And then from there, I'm gonna to go to make sure I'm in the right spots. So I'm gonna count again, two, three, four, five, six, and four. One, two, three, four, five, six, one, two, three. And we need to stitch three by three. So I'm gonna do that. I'm gonna stitch the three squares for that. Now the white squares that go around it that create the star, we're going to do in a future video because those are considered confetti stitches. And here I'm railroading my stitches, which I showed you how to do in my previous video. Now I've got that first row done, I'm gonna move down. And just do another row of three. And we did make sure that we are stitching at the top of our design because we did create a square and we wanna make sure our stitches are going the same direction. And I could also tell the top since I put my needle minder in the top right. Now we've done this little section and we're gonna end the gray thread. First, I'm gonna go through five previous stitches, which can kind of be hard with the Q-snap. So just take the Q-snap off or just go under five stitches one by one. I'm gonna actually go backwards. And when you cut your thread, just cut really close. So we just did three by three here, and that is a dark gray thread. The next time you use dark gray is either down here or over here. When you travel in cross stitch, that means you bring your thread from one section to another. I'm not going to travel from here to here because behind your design, you will see those gray stitches. We will show traveling with a lighter thread in future videos next we're gonna to move to the aqua star. So I'm gonna put my needle back in here and just pull my pre-threaded needle with aqua. And then I'll move my line keeper over. And I'll just start with this gray line and I'll start here. So we'll count one, two, three, four stitches and start in the fifth. So I sometimes will count with my needle in the holes. So one, two, three, four, come up in the fifth. Just make sure you're in the right spot and we're gonna count how many over, three. So I'm gonna put the line keeper right on the line so you can see. Four empty stitches 
and three blue stitches. One, two, three, four. And we're gonna do three stitches. Now from here, you can either go from the top to the bottom, or you can go to the top. We'll just move down. So now I'm gonna do the two stitches below. Move one stitch over. And you're just mirroring your pattern. So each square on your pattern with the symbol is one square on your cloth. Then we'll move our line keeper down. And then we're gonna move one to the left and go across three. So as a beginner, using a line keeper is really helpful to keep you in place. And if you don't have one, you could try using an index card. Move your line keeper down. And then here, we're gonna have a lot of stitches. So we're gonna count one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven. 10, 11. So we're gonna do 11 stitches across. So I'll move the cross stitch line keeper and then you see that we're gonna need five but we're gonna skip three stitches so to do that you can either travel down and start like this I don't like to do that because you can see your blue stitch from the front so instead of doing that a better way is to hide your thread on the this row so go through about three stitches underneath that will keep your back need and you won't have a travel line and then do five stitches with three and three on each side So from here, you can either pull your needle over here, one, two, three, and you can pull right here. And you can stitch these stitches. You will be able to see your thread through that. So you can travel with your thread or you can hide some threads back here so you're not traveling. So that's what I'm going to do. And this is all personal preference how you want your design to look and how much time you want to put into your project. So I'm going to hide these up here and then come back down and stitch these stitches. My thread is getting short, so I'm going to go ahead and weave the thread under the back and then we'll move to the top of the star. So from here, what we're gonna do is go back and we're gonna start on this row and we're gonna form 
the top of the star and the side of the star and we'll fast forward that so you can see what direction I go in. And again, if you need to travel, you can run your thread underneath previous stitches. So we have the star done, and like I said, just go in any direction that you would like. Whenever I'm stitching in an area and I have a lighter thread and a darker thread, I will stitch the lighter thread first and the darker thread second. That way, when you're stitching the light, your dark thread does not kind of run into your lighter thread. So we're gonna do these five whites, and I have my needle already pre-threaded and we'll do the five stitches and you can go in any direction. You just want the bottom of your stitch and the top of your stitch to go the same direction. So to end your floss here, you just run your thread through five stitches and you can run it through the white and the blue. It doesn't have to stay within the white. And with this thread, you have a little bit left over so you could actually save this if you would like to. It's enough to use again so you could wind it up and put it on your design board to save. And then we're just gonna do the last stitch and gray. So from here, what I would like all of you guys to do is do all the stars and all of these gray squares and these stars and the text. I would like you to leave the white stitches off. We're gonna cover that in the next video and leave all of the inside unfinished so we can do that in another video as well. Now, when you're traveling from letter to letter, 
You can travel from one stitch to the other since you're only going behind one square. And when you're stitching, if you want to travel, I would go two to three stitches at the most so that the back of your piece stays nice. I really enjoyed stitching with you today and I hope you have a lot of fun getting the inside started. So make sure to subscribe to our YouTube channel, click the bell to be notified when we have new videos, and if you have any kind of cross-stitch questions, just put them in the comment box. Class dismissed!